Okay, let's make a gnome. We're gonna start with a tube. I knit this on my Addy 22 pin knitting machine and it's just 60 rounds. You're gonna to wanna to fold the tube inside of itself and then pull the yarn tail through to the other side so that both tails are coming out on the same side. And then you're just gonna to wanna to cinch, you know, tighten both tails so that they're tight and tie them off in a few knots. This is gonna be the inside of the bottom of the gnome body. And then I like to trim my yarn tail. I'm gonna trim it just about an inch or so, and then I'm going to put it inside so that's hidden, those little yarn tails are hidden away. I'm gonna use one of the yarn tails here um, that I just trimmed off. I usually leave long tails when I um, do my knitting, uh, knit the tube just so that I can use them to sew things on. We're gonna create a drawstring around the edge here. I like to keep the sack folded in half. I think it's easier to grab the little legs and I grab every other one. So you'll see there's like two for each of the knit stitches and I'm just gonna grab one. So it's every other one all the way around until I get back to the beginning. When I get back to the beginning, I'm gonna wanna kinda of leave it open because we're gonna add our dry beans. I'm adding a half a cup of dry beans to the bottom of the sack here and just kinda of push them down so there's room for when you want to start putting in the polyfill. Okay, and I just add enough polyfill just to make it pretty firm so that when you add other things on, it's not going to be too flimsy and it kind of holds its shape. So now we're going to grab every other stitch along this uh, drawstring here. I think it gives a nice cleaner looking closure and this is going to be the top of the gnome's head so you do want it to look nice since we're doing the interchangeable um, beanies uh, people are going to see the top of your gnome's head so you want to make sure that it looks nice and clean and that you don't have any polyfill hanging out so i just kind of cinch it tightly and then i'm going to go around one more time i think it helps keep the string kind of in place while you're tying your knot and uh, makes for a nice closure so then tie in a couple of knots make sure they're really secure and then I like to just kind of shape, make sure everything looks okay at this point. And then I'm gonna bring my um, yarn tails back down to the middle. This is about where I'm going to be adding my nose. All right, now it's time to add the nose. I am using a wooden bead that has a hole in it. I kind of wish the hole was a little smaller, but this is what I had, so I just am using what I was able to find. And I take each of the yarn tails, I thread it through the hole on the bead, and then I bring them around um, like the back side, and then I'm gonna just tie it in a knot. After I tie a few knots just to make sure it's secure, I'm going to um, take the yarn and I'm gonna bring it around to like kind of another side of the body of the gnome, and then I'll trim off the excess. So we're just gonna do that to hide the string on each side. Now for the beard. I'm using a rectangular piece of faux fur. I trim um, a kind of a half oval shape and I notch out the middle like a little triangle in the middle. And then on the little corner pieces, I just kind of shape them. I just round them a bit on the ends and on the side um, for the eyebrows. And then you're gonna add craft glue. I like craft glue um, because it's easy to move things around. Um, you do have to wait for it to dry, but it's pretty tacky, so it sticks pretty good. And then I'm just gonna add the glue onto the gnome for the eyebrows. And then I kinda make sure everything's stuck and secure. And while you're waiting for the um, everything to dry, this is when I make my beanies. Okay, so for each of the beanies, you're gonna start with a tube that is 43 rounds. Um, you're gonna want to start on the cast on edge and I just kind of bring my yarn down onto the inside and then I start rolling it up and then I'm going to stitch it in place and I'm gonna just put two stitches in one on this side here and then I'm gonna go ahead right across from that on the opposite side and I'm gonna add another stitch I think this helps keeps the um, beanie from rolling down when you're taking it on and off of the gnome Okay, so then you just kind of 
add some little decorations here. I'm using a little faux soy tag with a Chicago screw. Um, I just kind of add that on. And then those are what I actually change out every month to kind of make the gnome beanie a little bit more seasonal. And now I'm going to add a little faux fur um, pom-pom and I'm going to be using just a little small square of fur. And I'm just going to add a stitch, kind of like thread it through each of the corners here. So you just want to kind of go up and down. Add, I'm going to add a tiny bit of polyfill and then I'm going to cinch it closed. And then I'm going to go back through the top to kind of secure it there. And then each one of these little corner like puff outs, there will be four of them, I'm going to go through and grab those and kind of bring them back down to the bottom. And I should have um, pulled a little of the, more of the fur, so I have so much excess fur all around. You want to make sure that after you cut your little fur that you kind of pull all the little loose fuzzies off. And then I'm going to bring my yarn tail down into the inside, and then I'm going to tie it into a knot, and then trim my excess yarn tail off. And now after you've uh, finished up this beanie, you can make as many as you need. I ended up making six beanies and I'm going to rotate them out um, throughout the year for each month just by changing out the tag. You can also add different kind of pom-pom on the top. But there's my gnome and here he is with his little beanie. I added a blog post with um, everything written out that I did to make my gnome and the beanies and how I kind of decorated them a bit for the whole year. I also made up a gift set for my mom and I included a free download for the wrap that I used to package my beanies and gnome.